Last week, I made a video about expensive items that I implied are worth spending more for. If you missed that video, I'll link to it down below. So in an effort to have a little bit of yin and yang on this channel, today we're talking about building a stylish wardrobe on a budget. I think a lot of people might argue that in order to have a stylish wardrobe, you need to have a really big budget, but that's simply not the case. And today we're talking about it. Now look, for the record, most of the things that I talk about on this channel are not super expensive. And the reason is because in a lot of ways, I feel that I'm my own demographic. And when I make videos, I like to think that I'm making them for people who are similar to me. I mean, look, I don't make a ton of money, but I make enough to enjoy a few nice things, but I certainly can't go overboard. There needs to be a balance between what we're willing to spend money on and what we're not. And if I had to guess, I would say that a lot of you guys that watch my channel resonate with that completely. All right, so let's all take just a quick second and understand why dressing well is even important in the first place. And if you missed a video I made just two weeks ago talking all about that subject, I'll link to that one down below as well. So look, whether you like it or not, first impressions matter. And your appearance is the very first thing people notice about you. So by dressing well, you're projecting a sense of self-respect and self-confidence, which provides you with opportunities both professionally and personally. But not only that, but dressing well impacts your self-esteem, makes you feel better about yourself, and it can also boost your overall mood. All right, when working with a limited budget, it is critical that you focus on building a versatile wardrobe, right? So focus on timeless pieces that can all be mixed and matched together. That way you can create a ton of different outfits with only a few key pieces. Start with the basics, a well-fitting pair of jeans, a few solid color shirts, and a few pair of shoes. And just for the sake of this video, because we're only talking about stylish pieces, that doesn't include t-shirts. <laughs> Look for solid color button down shirts that you can wear either tucked in or untucked. These are gonna be your foundation items. Now, starting with shoes, you can go spend an ungodly amount of money on a single pair of shoes, but you don't have to. These shoes from today's video sponsor, Bruno Mark, fit the bill perfectly when it comes to maximizing style for a low price. And funny story, if you follow men's style content on YouTube, you're probably familiar with Aaron and Alex Costa. Both of those guys recently made videos talking about this brand and it got me really interested. So as it turns out, when I was offered the opportunity to test these out and possibly have them sponsor one of my videos, I jumped on it because if those two behemoths are talking about this brand, there must be something there. And I'm happy to report to you that, look, if you're in the process of building out a stylish wardrobe, and you're trying to maximize every dollar that you have in your budget, you have got to check these out. Now they sent me over these two pairs to test out, right? These derbies in this medium brown and these super comfortable blue mesh sneakers. Now these sneakers I think are incredibly versatile and they're gonna pair easily with shorts, jeans, and your chinos. They look good, they feel incredible, and if you can believe this, these are under 50 bucks. But not only that, there's gonna be a discount code down below in the video description box that's gonna save you quite a bit more on not just these though, but on everything on their site. And for all my friends out there with wide feet, they have wide sizes also. And these casual derbies are once again, super versatile and they've got a really comfortable footbed that look, quite honestly, I wasn't expecting, but I was pleasantly surprised by how these shoes feel. The other thing I like is this nice color, right? It's a nice medium brown, and that's gonna pair perfectly with your jeans, your chinos, and even some of your dress pants. So listen, gentlemen, there's gonna be a special link with a discount code right down below in the video description, and I really think these are an absolute must-see if you're looking for something that isn't gonna break the bank, but also has that nice look that you want. Guys, the link and the discount code are down below. Go check it out. All right, another way to maximize your budget is to skip past all the clothes at the front of the store and just go immediately back to where the sale and the clearance racks are. Most all retail stores are gonna have seasonal discounts and clearance sections where you can find brand new, high quality clothes at a fraction of the original price. Start making it a habit to go directly to the sales racks whenever you go shopping and I promise 
you will find some incredible deals on the same items that just a few weeks ago were like twice the price. Okay, this next one is gonna come in two parts. First, thrifting. Secondhand shopping is a massive secret weapon when it comes to dressing well on a budget. But not only at thrift stores in your area, but online platforms like Poshmark. So I used to be on Poshmark and I sold a bunch of stuff there and in my opinion, it's a pretty solid platform. But if you do go somewhere in person, take your time and browse through everything and don't hesitate to try things on because it doesn't have to fit perfectly and I'll get to that in just a second. Okay, now the second part to thrifting is tailoring. If you find something really nice at the thrift store but maybe it's just a little bit too big, take it to a tailor. I talk about tailoring quite a bit around here and even if you have something in your closet right now that you wish just fit a little bit better, take it to a tailor and have it adjusted. Seriously, you will be amazed at what these guys can do for around 20 bucks. So say you buy a shirt at a thrift store for $7, tailor it for 15 to 20. In my opinion, that's a pretty good deal. Now, just really quick before I jump into the next category, I wanna talk about maintaining your clothes. So I wash practically everything in cold and if it can go in the dryer, I always use the lowest heat setting above air fluff. I also have some other pieces that need to be hand washed and either laid flat to dry or hang dry. Just read the label and make sure that you're taking care of everything correctly. And also, get yourself an inexpensive iron or a steamer and just make sure that you don't look like a wrinkled mess every time you leave the house. Now, I wanna mention colors for just a second and talk about earth tones. Colors like blue, green, tan, gray, and white because all of those colors mix and match perfectly. And basically, you could build an entire wardrobe with just those colors. Different shades of blue, different tones of gray, and different shades of tan and brown. That all makes for a stylish wardrobe and a versatile one as well. Now, just one more quick note about color. Wearing monochromatic colors like all blue or all gray, that's a really stylish move, right? So think about blue jeans with a blue shirt or gray chinos with a gray shirt and try to mix up the tones of each color, right? So for example, a dark blue shirt with light blue pants because wearing basically all one color has the effect of making everything you have on just look more expensive, especially if you go with solid colors, really subtle patterns and zero brand logos. And once again, if you missed the video that I made about luxury items, definitely check it out right here. And look, if you made it this far, you are definitely one of the true legends. Thank you so much for watching, live well, and I will see you in the next one.